Hello, YouTube. We are back for the attack in relation to X-Men number one. We got a lot of things going on here. We got paintbrushes, my bone, a spoon, ten gorgio, methyl cellulose. What's going on here? What are we going to do today? I'll tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of glass down. We're going to cover the glass with a piece of parchment paper because we don't want to get any glare. And I'm also going to take out my tack iron. We're going to use that as well. And we're going to plug it in. I'm going to put it to the side here just like that. We're going to use a tack iron. And we're going to start working on putting all of these pieces together. The little pieces for the X-Men. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I appreciate all of the comments that I received from many followers. Lost in Wallace gave me some recommendations and a few other of my longtime followers and supporter supporters and i truly appreciate it thank you so there are the pieces right here these are the pieces that we're dealing with and some of them do have some straight angles that we have to deal with and we're going to try to connect them first and then we're going to attach all of the pieces to the x-men cover so how are we going to do it okay i'll tell you how we're going to do it this is ten gojo paper okay everyone knows ten gojo i say it all the time i say it loud i like to say ten gojo here you go i'm sure the camera's picking it up okay i see on various channels on youtube and on instagram people use this ten gojo paper they cut it first they put it on they have different methods of cutting etc etc but there are many ways to do things and one way to do thing to do it is you just put the whole piece down just like this we put a whole piece down and then after we put the piece down we're going to worry about cutting it after the piece is down so what does that mean jerry what are you talking about well i'll show you so right here let me grab it it's off camera we have one of the main pieces right here it's magneto and it is the helmet and his hand okay matter of fact let's just get the ten gojo on the side right now because i want to try to position it so we have the piece of magneto's helmet and his hand then we have two other pieces that attach to this and one is the magneto's cape and arm this is the piece that unfortunately suffered a little color loss which it's fine a little color loss is not that bad when you're doing a major conservation project like this and we're dealing with a very old book and we're soaking it in water so sometimes color loss will be the result of conservation and it's a cost benefit analysis so it happens so what do i want to do here first i want to see if i can adjust it where we are going to see which piece lays on top of the other piece okay because it's not just putting one piece down and another piece down there's always a ripped piece where there'll be some form of white 
and I see right now that this white area here is exposed, so this piece has to go over the white, okay? So how are we going to do it? I'll show you. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move this piece on the bottom with the color loss, and we're going to put it to the side. Then what I want to do is let's focus the camera so we can get a better view of the work that I'm going to do. Okay, so let's focus this. And there you go. Hopefully it's coming a little more focused. And I think we're in good shape. I'm not going to get much closer than that. Maybe a tiny bit more. Let's see. That looks pretty good, I think, right? So we have the piece focused on, okay? So what I want to do is I want to take the piece of Ten Gojo and we're going to lay it down like the rat song. Does anyone know the rat song, Lay It Down? I'm sure Mike Night Tiger knows about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up the piece, put it to the side. Let me just make sure the camera is getting it. And it is because if the camera is not going to get it, why are we doing this? So we're going to put it to the side just like that. Then what I want to do is I want to put the Ten Gojo down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up some methyl cellulose, which I have on the left. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of methyl cellulose on my brush. Then what I want to do is I want to pick the piece up delicately. And I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully the camera is getting it. And then I just want to paint a little methyl cellulose right on the edge of the broken piece, just like this. Okay, just like this. So we have the adhesion on it. Then what I want to do is guess what? We're just going to put it down right on to the Ten Gojo, just like that. Simple, very easy. Then what I want to do is I want to take a piece of parchment paper and I want to dry it up with the tack iron. We want to dry it up nicely so that so it really lightens up or dries up quickly and we don't have to waste time waiting for it to dry and this is how we're going to do it see how simple this is then i'm going to put my tack iron to the side i'm going to gently lift up my parchment paper and hopefully this adhered very nicely and it did okay so also what i want to do is i want to dry the methyl cellulose that is on the glass i don't want that to be wet i want it to be dried because we don't want to mess around with any form of wet methyl cellulose that may attach to the piece of the cover so we did that we're done with that now the next step that we have is i want to add the second piece just like this and this is going to be again something that has to be lined up perfectly as lost uh lost in wallace said that you have to line it up as an artist because if it's not lined up it's going to look off so i'm doing this for you and hopefully i can line it up as good as an artist i think i can so we're going to put this on a little methyl cellulose i'm not going to go crazy putting a lot of methyl cellulose on just a little bit just on the seam and i'll show you why later now this is the key factor i have to try to line this up as best as possible 
And this is the goal, because we want to make this lined up, because without it being lined up, it's not going to look as good as it should. I also would like to leave a little tiny gap, okay? A tiny gap, and the reason why, because we're not gonna hide anything. There's, there's going to always be a rip there. I wanna put leaf casting in there. We're going to put leaf casting to make it stronger so it's a nice conserved grade. So I think I'm pretty good the way it's lined up right now. So let's take our parchment paper again, and we are going to iron the piece, and hopefully the methyl cellulose will bind the Tengojo, and it will bind the paper of the comic all together. So I think that may be good. So let's gently lift it, and there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is let's make the camera big to make sure that I'm getting this all on because then we're wasting our time for the production if we're not. So right there, I have it connected. And I'm looking right now, and I think we are pretty good. I'm, pr I'm happy with the results, okay? So what I want to do now is I want to remove the excess Tengojo, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Before I do that, let's actually get a new piece of parchment paper, because you have to be very, 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 very careful, because if you're going to put, and if you're going to get Matter of fact, this is not lined up to my liking because I'm looking at it now and it has to be raised a significant amount. So I'm unhappy with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove it and I'll show you how easy it is to remove. And the reason why I don't like it, if we flip it around, we can see how off, that's a little crazy, how high it has to be moved up so that's why this is conservation guys okay so what i'm gonna do is i'll take a brush just like this okay and you also have to understand i'm doing this and filming so it's a little tough sometimes to get it right because i'm, I'm not getting close but i'm going to show you why this is conservation okay so hang on so i have a little water on the side here i have a different brush I'm just going to put a little water down on the brush or dip the brush in the water. Now watch. This is why this is conservation. So what we have to do is we have to remove this piece. So I'm just going to paint a little water onto the methyl cellulose, just like this. And then that water will release the methyl cellulose, hopefully without any issue, just like that, and we'll be able to peel it right up. Okay, so let's see if we can do it without an issue. There we go. So we're gonna try it again. So I'm gonna use my brush with the methyl cellulose, just like this, and I'm gonna put a little strip of methyl cellulose down and then we're gonna to try to line this up a little bit better than last time. And let's see if this works, just like this. And hopefully I got it up Hopefully the camera's picking it up. Just like that, I'm gonna flip it around. And before I iron it, we're gonna take a look 
from the reverse side how it looks. And I'm not liking it, guys. I'm not liking it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, okay ladies and gents, we're back. I'm happy with the positioning of it. So what I want to do now is I want to do a little tack iron. And we want to dry it up. And we want to smooth it out. So it went well. And... The reason why I shut the camera is because I'm trying to do this for your viewing pleasure and for the content, but I have to get about five inches away from the paper with my eyes. I have to get very close and it's very hard to do this with the camera and it's very hard to film it without having the back of my head blocking the view. Now, I know I have at times had the camera at different angles and things of that nature. But for this one, it wouldn't work because I really have to get close. And I don't want to have the camera in my way. So it's connected and I'm happy with it. Now, you have to understand that there's going to be a seam there and the reason why there's going to be the seam is because i'm not just repairing this with tengojo paper i am also going to leaf cast it i want to get a little line of pulp in there because the tengojo paper although strong it's not going to be strong enough without some type of casting. There has to be leaf casting to fill in the void. And people think that when you leaf cast, or some people think that when you leaf cast that the paper pulp just migrates into little hairline cracks and then voila, you're done. No, that's not the case. If you look at any of my leaf casting, and in fact, if you look at Kenny Sanderson's leaf casting, there'll always be a little amount of pulp that you put on the base of the paper or the non-ripped area of the paper. It's very important. There's always going to be a slight graphic loss, and that's why we do it on the interior, or at least I do it on the interior. And I know Kenny, when he leaf casts, he does it on the interior as well. And there'll always be some overlapping. And the overlapping's there to give it strength. We're not only filling in voids, but we're giving strength to the document. So what are we going to do next? What we're going to do next is I want to remove this excess Tengojo. We're going to get rid of it. And I'm going to show you how to do it, but I have to get something. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So what do I have? I have my Zacto knife. This is a number 10 blade. It's a dull blade. I also have my plastic film that I use when I do my leaf casting. Okay, we're going to use this as well. And I'll show you what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to flip the document over with the Tengojo. And again, I'm a little off. I'm still a little unhappy with it. And I'm looking off camera. Or is that the print? Let me see. Let me see, let me see. No, that's lined up. Like I can't get it lined up anymore on the front. The glove is lined up, I feel, perfectly. The lines are lined up with the cape. Let me look close. It is lined up. For some reason, the back is a little bit off. And I'm looking at it, and this is off, and that is off with, if you can see right here. But if I lift it up and raise it, 
I don't think the front is going to work out more. So I'm troubled, guys. I, I think I'm going to leave it. Because these lines are lined up. The hand is lined up. The black lines on his Magneto's cape are lined up. This is lined up here. Everything's lined up in the front. It's quite odd. But then if you look on the back, this line is not lined up. But if you look here, and again, I'm just babbling. And let's make it where it's closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. If you look at it, this piece here is not lined up perfectly so i do have an x-men number one reprint let me see if i can find it i want to right here and it's a dutch edition and this is from mike night tiger thank you mr night tiger so let's open it up and let's see what the deal is with the interior of this edition because maybe they reproduced it and we can see if, if the printer was off set so let's open it up and see oh <laughs> i guess that's not any help i am i have to think about this guys i have to do some research so i'm going to stop the camera right now and i'm gonna be right back okay so stay tuned Okay, ladies and gents, we are back. I'm sorry, I actually repaired it off camera. So it's lined up very nicely right now. And if you flip it around, it's also lined up very nicely. So I'm happy with the way it's lined up. So how are we going to remove this Ten Gojo? So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it up just like this. Okay, just like this, and this is where the methyl cellulose penetrated and it adhered to the place where it is ripped. So I have my plastic sheet under the area that we applied the methyl cellulose and guys this may not be the sexiest or the most exciting aspect of this conservation project but it's necessary so what i want to do is i want to hold it down and i want to take my razor and i'm just gonna rip it right on the plastic we're not going where there is any paper so we're not going to damage anything okay so this by doing it, it this way it allows me to really shape the ten gojo paper to the area of where the rip is okay and that works out very well. Then we'll shift it around just like this. And I will rip it using the razor blade, the dull razor blade, just like this. Okay. And by doing it this way, like I said, we are able to shape the Ten Gojo nicely to the rip itself and you'll see now the ten gojo is rounded okay does that make sense to everyone it's rounded and it follows the contour of the rip there we go we'll take that piece off and we'll put it to the side now i want to do the same thing for the other side of the rip so i will take the plastic We'll fold up the Ten Gojo like this, and I will insert the plastic just like this on top of the paper. 
to protect it. And then we'll flip over the Ten Gojo. And then we'll do the same thing with our razor blade, just like that. Okay. See, I'm pulling the Ten Gojo off right where we're cutting it by scraping it on the plastic so we do not damage the artifact or the artifact that we're trying to conserve which is as everyone knows sauce dog comics x-men one now this little area right here Okay, I want to protect this little nib or nub coming out. I, I don't mind if that is going to be covered completely with Ten Gojo. And the reason why I don't mind that is because in all reality, that's going to be leaf casted over. Whenever I see tan like that or a piece without graphics, that to me is a signal that you know what jerry you can go over it nicely with the pulp because we're going to match the pulp pretty close to this right so i have no issue with leaving it to be honest with you so let's gently pick this off we don't want to damage any of the paper and it looks like i may have just been a little reckless for a second but i'm fine no issue, no damage. So right there is the repair for this one piece. And we do have little fibers coming off. And you know what? I have no issue with them staying. And the reason why I have no issue with them staying is because the leaf casting will cover that. And by covering it, it will absorb into the Ten Gojo and we're not going to have a problem. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of all these strangle, all these little fibers of the Ten Gojo. We don't need them anymore. Let's get rid of these as well. And you have to be careful. You can't be sliding this all around like that because you don't want to remove any graphics. I hope the camera is picking this up, guys. I'm doing all this work. So right there. So here's the other issue. So right now we have a situation where we have some little fibers there, right? So what I want to do is I want to take a little methyl cellulose on my brush. I have very little. And I'm just going to run it like this to glue down the little fibers that are left over from fraying it, okay? From fraying the Ten Gojo with the number 10 blade and the plastic. We're just gonna put a little nice methyl cellulose and then what I want to do is I want to get a new piece or a dry piece of parchment paper, put it over, and I'm going to give a nice little ironing with my Hanger 9 tack iron. I probably lost about 70% of the viewers right now. They're probably snoozing or they went over to the other great comic book channels. Gary B, the casual comic guy. Metarog's channel, Night Tiger Comics, rawr, hear me roar. And then there's some other channels that I like to watch, so many that I can't name right now. I like Spine Ticks Pressing. He was nominated for a comic book community awards. Uh, nomination with my category and he is a great channel he does a lot of cleaning and pressing and 
I really enjoy his channel and so many great members of the community that I enjoy. So right now, boom, we'll flip it around. And there we go, there's our piece. And that's how we're gonna connect it. So what do we got? We got two more pieces to connect. We have Magneto's helmet and we have the signage. So I'm gonna work on that now. And I think I'll do it in time-lapse, guys. So enjoy, this is the gist of how I do it. And I'll see you soon.